Okay, welcome back to our discussion of moon phases and tides analysis. Um, so we're looking at our tidal prediction data here. In the last video, I showed you how to fill out the tidal range, um, figure out the moon phase. Remember, that's a simple Google search based on the date, as well as insert images based on the moon phase. All right, so today I'm going to focus on how to create an image or a graph such as the one you see on the right here. So how can I use Google Sheets to build something similar? It's not going to look exactly like this one. It's going to be a little bit rougher around the edges, but it's going to be good enough for our purposes. All right, so at the end of the last video, I did show how to create a basic graph. Um, we take a look here. We have title prediction. We have date. Here's our date, and here are our title predictions. So the simplest thing to do is just to highlight all of that data. And we're going to come up to Insert, Chart, and we have a nice looking graph already. All right, so a couple things we can change here. I'm going to go into the Customize menu, go to Chart Style, and just to get those smooth lines, we just check the smooth box here. And some other things that should probably be changed. Notice that the title here just says High Tide and Low Tide. That's probably not super descriptive. So we want to go to Chart and Axis Titles, make sure we're on the chart title, and change up the title here. So ultimately, we're going to want uh, moon phases and title prediction data. And then it's generally a good idea to put in the dates so we know exactly what we're looking at. We're going from August 8th to September 6th of 2021. All right, so let's see how that looks. And just center it, it's a minor formatting issue. And in here, I also see that it has feet, don't want that. We can just double click in the box and get rid of that there. Okay, so a couple other things. Um, we notice in this example, kind of the exemplar, the dates along the bottom are spaced every two days. So halfway in between would be August 9th, August 10th, August 11th. It makes it very easy to find a specific date that we need. Uh, here we're going by a span of seven days. So it's going to make it significantly harder to figure out that spacing. So how can we fix that? And so what are the other issues? So we need to figure, this, figure out the spacing or fix the spacing along the x-axis, the horizontal axis. We also need to label what the vertical axis is. All right, so if we want to customize a chart, we can just Double click it, it'll bring up the chart editor, or we can click it once, click on the three arrows or three dots, and click edit chart. To deal with the missing label, we'll do that first. We're gonna go to chart and axis titles. This is the vertical axis title. And that is going to be title prediction in feet. It's always a good idea to include the unit whenever possible. Okay, so that updated. And now we want to tackle the issue of the horizontal spacing, so the horizontal scale here. All right, so you might think it's under horizontal axis. It's a decent place to look. Uh, it turns out to not be super helpful in this regard, though. We want to look at grid lines and ticks to figure out or change the scaling of either of the two axes. And we're going to do that by changing the count from auto. Um, and we're just going to see, this is kind of a trial and error process here. If we go to 5, that did nothing to our chart. We increase the number, and now notice we have August 10th, or August 8th to August 10th, meaning halfway between is going to be the 9th. Uh, this is exactly what we want. So we want the middle space to be a single day. So it's easier for us to plot points. Make this just a little bit larger, so we have a little bit more room to work with. And we are in pretty good shape here, okay? so. Now the graph looks really nice. Uh, it looks very similar to our exemplar over here. The only thing that seems to be missing are the moon phases. All right, so this is where things can get a little bit trickier. All right, so before we go in to add our moon phases here, I'm just going to move a few things around in the chart. So you should be able to double click on different items and then move them to a more convenient location. I'm going to move our key, our legend, just down to the bottom here so it's a little bit out of the way. And I'm going to move our chart title 
up to the very top of the space to give us some room for some images that include our moon faces, as you see in the exemplar. Okay, so you might be asking, how do we know the new moon is located here? Well, we look at our, our chart, our data table. On August 8th, we figured out there's a new moon. August 8th is the new moon. August 15th is the first quarter moon, as indicated in our data table. So that's where these placements have come from. Okay, so doing this online, there are plenty of ways to do this. This is just one method. Um, we're going to have to find some images of the moon phases to begin with. So I'm just going to do a quick Google search. Go into Google here and just type in uh, moon phases. And I'm going to look at the images. And this looks like a decent enough image. So this happens to be from a YouTube video. So this is the thumbnail image, but that's not a problem. We can just right click on the image, hit save image as, and then we can save it as, let's say, uh, moon phases. Okay, we want to open this up. So here we have phases of the moon, and we're going to want to save the new moon phase, first quarter, full moon, and third quarter as separate images. The easiest way to do this is to open up uh, the snipping tool if you're using a PC, or if you learn the keyboard shortcuts to take screenshots on a Mac. So we're gonna click new. Let's just do the example of the new moon. So this is the image I would like to save. Hit save and give it a descriptive name. Um, I already saved one, so new moon. Sure, we'll replace it. And you're going to want to do that for the remaining images. So you need the new moon, the first quarter, the full moon, and the third quarter. Once you have all of that done, you have those four images saved, we can come back to our spreadsheet. And here's where we have another application of the insert image. This time we don't want the image in a cell, we want the image over the cell. Okay, and we have the upload box here. Easiest thing to do is just grab these images straight from your desktop and drag them right in. So now we have to ask ourselves, where do we want this new moon image? Where along our chart or our graph does this go? So we have a new moon on the 8th as well as on the 6th of September. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I have two images. Then you should be able to select both of them and scale them down to size. And you notice that it's being distorted here because I have both images selected at once. So why don't I just go ahead and do this one time and I'll copy and paste the smaller version. All right. So copy and paste that. That's Control C, Control V, or Command C and V if you're on a, a Mac. And now I can get this placed on August 8th. It's still a bit large for my liking, covering up a little bit of the data there. So August 8th, I'm just align it. And then September 6th, all the way at the right side of our chart. Delete this guy. And now we need a first quarter moon on August 15th. So it's going to be the same process. We come up to insert image, image over cells, and then we want the first quarter moon image that we chose. Okay, So now we can use any image we want. It doesn't have to be from this YouTube video, um, but this is doing two things for us. It's giving us a nice visual representation of the moon phase, um, and it's also labeled, which is in the directions for this particular task. Okay, so new moon, and we have our first quarter moon on August 15th, which lines up. Then we're going to want a full moon on the 22nd. So again, same process, insert, image, image over cells, and then we drag our full moon image in. All right, resize it a bit on the 22nd. Oops, that looks pretty good. And we have one more left. And you guess it's the same exact process. So insert, image, image over cells, and then we want the third quarter. OK, 
Okay. So not particularly difficult, you just some skills to learn here. And third quarter moon is on August 30th, right here. And this is why rescaling this horizontal axis is really important, it makes this task much, much easier. Okay, so now we have our chart completed. And again, not quite as pretty as our exemplar over here to the right. This was done in another um, graphical program, but this looks pretty good for our purposes. And we can start seeing some patterns here. All right, so some things to notice at the new and full moons. Notice that the tidal range is quite high. The high tide and low tide are separated from each other. At the first and third quarters, the tidal range is much lower. So that has some special significance, which you will find out during the analysis questions. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, good luck. If you have any questions, please let me know.